Hello, hello. So today we are going to be playing with something very exciting. This ginormous PR package that I received from Pixie Beauty. You can't even see the whole thing, but it's basically the size of a small child. Um, before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed before you leave and give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out. And then follow me on my makeup related Instagram. All that stuff is always down below. Let's dive right in. So Pixie is one of the most exciting brands that I get PR from. Um, I don't know why, probably because I had, I asked them like 5,000 times to, to put me on their PR list and then like. I finally got on. So this is the Pixie Pretties collaboration between five like influencer, YouTuber people and Pixie Beauty. So I'm going to get into who those people are if you don't know. Um, I don't know like three of them <laughs> or at least like I've heard of them but I don't really follow them. You know what I mean? So in the package I received, I can't even like lift it. I'm going to zoom you out. So in the package I received um, it looks like this and it has like everyone's bios in it. Well, not bios, but like quotes, like what they said about the product or, okay, let's, I'll read you one. So let's do right here, heart. Uh, she said, make them stop and stare, elevate your makeup game with the most flattering palette of best of hues. Uh, and then go out and live your best life because nothing beats feeling and looking confident with your favorite eye look. So she created a an eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to take everything out because it's going to be really annoying to like hold all this stuff. So just give me a minute. I guess I'll just go through all this stuff that people like created. And then we'll get on to the kind of testing portion. So Rach Loves. This was actually the only one that I saw prior to getting this PR package, Rach Loves created a an highlighting palette and it's supposed to be like a layering palette. So there's more like wearable shades and then like a fun color and then a really darker color. So we're gonna try it out. It comes with a mirror, which is always a plus. Everyone always says, need a mirror in the palettes. You know what I mean? When people come out with collaborations, they're like, where's the mirror? So um, it's actually, it's a pretty good mirror. I can see that um, everything is really red, so that's cool. So this is officially called the Layers Highlighting Palette and it retails for $24, so you get two larger pan highlighters and then three smaller pan highlighters with two kind of like different colors, if you know what I mean, like darker, not different, but like these kind of all have a similar tone and then these two are clearly the odd men out, so that's that. Um, the next thing is, I'm going to literally butcher these people's names because I actually don't know them. I live under a rock. The next collaboration is between Mariam. Um, I don't know how to say the last name, like uh, McQuill McQuillage? McQu I'm not sure how you say that, but she created two sets. Um, this one is the Lip Kit in Night. And then this one is the lip kit in day. So clearly it's like a day to night situation. The lip kits retail for, they retail for $18. So, oh, it's actually called a lit kit, like L-I-T. Um, so my bad. So the, the night one has a very pretty nude lipstick and then this like really gorgeous um starry night which exactly is what it looks like is a starry night liquid fairy lights which i've never actually tried the liquid fairy lights from um pixie so i'm gonna insert swatches i'm gonna i'm not gonna like do it live but i'll insert all the swatches here for you guys and then the daytime oh no oh Nope, it just has cat hair on it. Thought mine was broken. It's just cat hair. Okay, story of my life. So the uh, day night, I mean the day lit kit comes with this Coral Bang lip product, and then the 
um, Mirage Liquid Fairy Lights. That looks so pretty. So I will do, again, swatches for you guys. But yeah, so you get um, that. And then I don't know if I said the lip name for the nude. It's called Posh Nude. So it look, it's like a little bit darker. So we'll see how that looks on me. I'm not sure how coral is going to look on me, but it's fine. And then we have the I Heart palette. And this is the Heart Defensor, Defensor, I'm not, again, I, I don't know, I live under a rock, I don't know these people, okay, um, so she created a, an eyeshadow palette, and it's so pretty, like, this is literally gorgeous, um, it's, like, kind of safe, but, like, really not, like, lots of pops of color, but overall has, like, kind of a a wearable tone to it you know what I mean this retails for $20 you get two four six eight shades no mirror on this guy and then we have Chloe Morello who I actually do know um, not in real life but I know of her and she created three um, lip icings so they retail for $14 dollars a piece and you have a an assortment of colors um and i'm so excited to try these out these look so beautiful milosh could you not milosh 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 losh could you not so these look like this assortment of colors the baby pink is called Parfait, the um, kind of hot pink is called Bon Bon. Milo is just in the way. Hello. Um, and then the blue is called Sorbet. So those are them. And then the last couple of items is the collab from um, From Head to Toe. Um, and these are the glowy powders. And there's two and they're... Mean Girls references. Everyone's just making so much noise. Mean Girls references. Um, and they retail for 16 bucks. And one is Fetch. And the other is Wednesdays. So the Wednesdays is a little bit more pink. And Fetch is kind of like, I guess more peachy. It's kind of hard to get the glare, I'm sorry. So that's what they look like. And then she also came out with this Endless Shade Stick, which is in the shade One and Zon, and this is 14 bucks. So that is the packaging, and my camera won't focus on the product in your hand. Okay, well, you get the idea, it's green. And that's the color. All right, so I think we have a good assortment of products. I think I'm going to start with my eyes. I'm going to really quickly though, like throw on this, um, I think it's like a, it's a primer, but I'm going to just moisturize my face with it a little bit. Cause I just got out of the shower. I got home from bar and I have not done bar in a week, over a week. So tonight's class was very hard. But I'm surprised that the teacher like didn't say, hey, where have you been? Because <laughs> I was going so religiously. I was going like three times a week um, last month. So I'm surprised she kind of didn't call me out. But it's fine. So this is the, I didn't even say what this is. This is the Glassy Skin by Touch and Soul. It's like, I think it's supposed to be a primer. But it's kind of like a moisturizer kind of feel to it. It smells very perfumed tonight. I don't remember it being this perfumed. So I think the first, I don't know why I put my glasses back on because I'm gonna have to take them off. I'm gonna zoom you back in. Okay. I really need to figure out how to get my viewfinder to be on my computer because that would just be, hmm, I think this is too close. I'm just gonna zoom you back out a little bit, okay. So, 
think we're gonna go real simple tonight because I'm literally taking this makeup off pretty much immediately. I'm not going to prime my eyes because I'm lazy. Also, you guys have way too much faith in me because I posted an Instagram story and I said, do you think that I can get my shit together and film and edit a video for Thursday? And everyone said yes. So you guys have way too much faith in me because um, it puts a lot of pressure on me. And if uh, everyone had said no, I probably wouldn't have posted or sat down and filmed. So today's Tuesday, by the way. Just, just saying. All right, I'm not even telling you what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take, I'm taking this shade right here. This is in the shade, I think February 4th, or oh, he got money. I'm not really sure. I think it's this shade right here. It's kind of just like a, um, it's close to my skin tone. Um, like a little bit, a very tiny difference between my skin and this color. And that was on a Sedona Lace B S B E B thirteen E B thirteen brush. And then I'm gonna go in with this shade, which is right next to the color I just used, and it's either February fourth or or oh he got money. So I clearly didn't watch any other videos regarding these products because. I don't know if they set it up like so okay this I'll say I'll explain why I'm having trouble so I don't know if it's like the shade names are directly on the back of the shades or you know how like companies will flip so it'll be like oh if you're looking at the palette do you know what I mean so I don't know if what I don't know if they did that or not I like that shade it's kind of like an like an orange cream sickle like it reminds me of I think that is the crease for now and then, actually, no, I lied, I lied. I'm going to go in with this brown down here. And I think this is the shade Lip Sync. And I'm going to just pop that also. Just so it's not, like, too boring of a look, you know what I mean? It looks a little bit more... Um, red, as I'm kind of blending this in but I guess I am putting it on top of like an orange shade so it's probably also a reason okay that's true and then I'm going to take this shade right here which I think is called the best fan it's like a shimmer and just pop that on you would if this isn't the most basic eye look you've ever seen comment down below <laughs> that's actually such a beautiful color if you can see it on my finger it's really really pretty I want to try the endless the endless shade stick and I want to put that underneath my eye just to see oh it's so creamy this has like shimmer in it so it's I don't I don't really like shimmer maybe on my lower lash line, but this looks like it's really pretty. Yeah, it's like a beautiful copper. Um, and then I'm just going to grab a brush to blend it out a little bit more. This is just like a, dirt, a, dirty, a dirty brush that I just found. So I think everything else is like... Oh no, I forgot to use this. Okay, I'm gonna use this. So this is the, what is this? This is the, what is this called? The fairy lights. Is it the fairy lights? Yeah, the liquid fairy lights. So this is an eye product. So I wanna use this, I forgot. So I'm gonna put that in the center of my eye. And it's a doe foot applicator. Oh my gosh, that's I'm just gonna put it all over the lid. I like how these things have all complemented each other because oh that looks so pretty. 
you see like the difference this made? Oh my gosh. Wow, that's literally gorgeous. I wonder how this lasts on the eyes. Oh my god, that's I can't even get over how pretty that is. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that so much. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then we're gonna play with the face products. Be right back. I just threw on the simplest makeup ever. Um, and then let's dive into the powders. So I don't know. So these are called glowy powders. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one as a blush topper because it's more kind of pink and we're just not going to play with this one. So this is Wednesdays and I'm going to take the same brush that I use. Am I like really blown out? Is that better? No, that's really dark. How about that? Uh, it's fine. So I'm going to take the same brush. Now I'm not on focus. Okay. I'm going to take the same brush that I just used to apply my um, blush. And then I'm going to just pat that right on the apples. So that is um, just straight up pink. Can you tell? Not sure I'm gonna love that, but it's kind of, it's pretty. It's just like not, I don't, I don't think it, I don't know. I don't really know how to use this. I don't know, but I don't hate it. I mean, it's like, it's, it's, it's like, it's pretty. I just don't know that it was like, it goes with the look that I created. So we're going to move on to the highlighting palette. And I'm going to just take the shade T and just grab my little fan brush. This is by Crayon Brush. It's the SS017 Deluxe Highlighter. And grab this shade right here. And when you're seeing this, like I haven't swatched anything yet, so I literally have no idea. That's so pretty. I'm, I'm getting distracted by the pink on the apples. Oh my gosh. I should have just done the pink on one side and then played with like all the fun shades on the other. Like on the, on, in this palette, like all the fun shades on one. You know what I mean? Am I saying it? I don't know. That's really pretty. That's really glowy. I'm also going to take the shade Lace and pop that right, like, bloop, right there. So. I'm going to grab the same brush. Wow, that is blinding. It might be too much. I don't know. I don't feel like it's emphasizing my texture up here. I think that this one kind of is, but that's like, this is like the worst place to put um, shimmer because like all of my pores are right here. You know what I mean? So that's probably not a fair assessment, but this one looks like it, um, is not really picking up texture, which is like, that's really great. Oh wait, I want to play with one more shade cause I didn't do my forehead. I'm going to go in with the shade clutch, which is the other one. Um, that's kind of like light tone. I feel like it's maybe not as blinding as these crazy ones I put on this side. Okay. We are glowing today. Um, and then we're going to play with some lippies. So I'm going to go in with the nude shade because I want to try out these. Um, what are these? These are the, the lip icings. So I want to go, go in with the nude. This is the posh nude. And if you've never tried, um, their formula, the matte last liquid lips, they're really good. So I feel like these always tend to dry a little bit darker than when you first put them on. So right now I feel like it's a really pretty shade. 
but if it dries any darker, it might be too brown for me. So I'm gonna wait for that to dry, and then we're gonna go in with this mm, the pink one, or maybe the blue. Maybe I'll do the blue just for fun, cause I didn't do like I didn't do the other kind of like fun colors with my makeup. It's like it's so great. Okay. That's dry. It's dry enough. So this is like, oh my god, it's so pretty. That might not have been dry enough. This is like a lot more wearable than I thought it would be. It's kind of like, it just like, when it hits certain light, you can see it. hope that's showing up on camera. I'm going to take this off and then I'm going to try the other two shades because I'm, I'm interested. And then just like any other lip gloss really, if you put it on top of a matte, it's not going to be matte anymore. Uh, and what I mean by that, because that sounds like, oh, it's common sense. What I mean by that is it's going to be like, it, it'll transfer now. Like your matte lipstick, your matte lipstick, liquid lipstick, um, probably wouldn't transfer. But when you put like a lip gloss on top, it kind of creates a lip gloss. So you're, it's going to transfer. So... I don't know if anyone needs to hear that, but now what I like about these is that you cannot feel the glitter particles, like maybe just like a teeny bit, but nothing, nothing that would annoy me. And I don't like that. I don't like when I'm annoyed. The last shade is Parfait. I didn't tell you any of the other names. So this was Sorbet I... and then Bon Bon and then Parfait which I think I like. Mm, this one's pretty. This one's probably the most like wearable. All right, well, that was pretty much the entire collection. So the only things I really didn't use were the um, Coral Lipstick and the Starry Nights Eye thing, and then Fetch, the glowy powder. Um, but yeah, I tried to play with the, like everything else. So. Let me know what you think. Did you know this collection was out? Did you buy anything from it? Do you think it's reasonably priced? Um, it is a little bit, Pixie's kind of like the higher end of drugstore, like up there with like physician's formula prices. So let me know what you think. Um, I love Pixie. I think I have only, I wanna say I've only disliked like one of their products and it was because like the coloring had changed on the product like the formula I think changed so that just you know that was my only grape I put that in a loves and duds one month but yeah everything else I really enjoyed um I don't know if it's like the most wearable stuff in my collection I don't know how much I'll actually get to use it all but I'll definitely try like this highlighter palette was so pretty um and the glowy powder is pretty too I just need to like figure out how to use this more maybe more of an eyeshadow kind of thing the icings were really, really nice. The fairy lights, I'm so impressed with this. It really made the look pop, in my opinion. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know. I just really enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.